I tried living like a high performing entrepreneur for one week even though I already am technically an entrepreneur. It might seem like it from the way I talk in my videos and the fact that I run my own business and brand, but I am not organized. It is very, very unorganized around here. I have stuff around my room, usually at all times. I have no sort of set schedule any day of the week, and I'm constantly forgetting about things that I have to do because I fail to write most of it down. Shit. I feel like this is not the most optimal way to go about things, even though it's worked pretty well so far. So I got the bright idea to live like a super structured, organized productivity workhorse for a week and see if it makes an impact on my success and well-being, or if it just just ends up being a huge nuisance. This is the story of what happened when I tried to live like an organized entrepreneur for a week. So it's currently the day before I start this week of being a productivity machine, and there are a few things that I have planned out to make this go as smoothly as possible. First, I'm gonna time block my entire schedule for the whole week, and the way I'm gonna do this is through Google Calendar. Getting up at 9 a.m. and doing like productive things up until 9.30 p.m., where I'll have time to relax for a couple hours before bed. My guess is it's gonna be pretty far off from what I have planned here. To keep track of my goals for the day and any other miscellaneous stuff that I usually forget, I decided to purchase and hang up a whiteboard. And lastly, I got a journal specifically made for people trying to avoid procrastination, track your daily progress, and achieve your goals more easily called the Finisher's Journal. All right, welcome to day one. It is currently about 9 a.m. I'm actually a little bit ahead of schedule instead of behind like I thought I was, but we'll see if that actually lasts throughout the entire day. So the first thing I'm gonna do during my morning routine time block is I'm gonna write in my finisher's journal. So today is not Monday, it's actually Sunday, but I'm just gonna disregard the fact that it says Monday and start today. It gives me most important task of the day, secondary tasks, additional tasks. And in this journal is actually a time block kind of thing where I could write down my entire schedule but I want the notifications on my phone so I'm just gonna still use Google Calendar it also gives me some room for notes and ideas every day and then a nightly recap so I'll probably use everything in the days of these journals except for the actual schedule blocking I'm not gonna give you my full opinion on the journal yet I'm gonna wait till I have finished using this for the past week and then I'm gonna give you my entire thoughts on the thing and now I'm gonna show you the next decision that I decided to make for this challenge. I just thought of this overnight. What I've decided since my room is so messy is I'm going to clean my entire room right now and I'm gonna keep it clean for the whole week. Keep it spotless. You know Jordan Peterson in his book he said clean your room first before you do anything and then like Navy SEALs tell you to make your bed so I'm gonna be doing this stuff every single day this week or when things start to pile up I'm gonna keep it super organized in here and see if that like affects my mental state too and my productivity in here because this is where I do most of my work. You see that? Clean room until 10 a.m. 9.54, baby. We are six minutes ahead of schedule. Mr. Organized right here. So yeah, it is as organized pretty much as it can be in here now. So we'll see if I can keep it this organized the entire week, but that's all that I want to show you for day one so far. If I have any new updates, new significant changes, I'll let you know. Okay, day one is complete of this entrepreneur, whatever you wanna call it, challenge, and uh, we got a lot to talk about. Current time is 11.46 p.m., and what you see behind me is a video that I've just finished editing. I filmed and edited this entire video in one day. I don't think I've ever done that before. And if I could describe the first day, it would be very, very productive. And I finished the first day of the finisher's journal and I ended up completing all of the tasks for the day. The most important, the secondary, and the additional tasks, I all got done today. Also, one thing I really want to mention is my room. The fact that it is clean right now. Today, I noticed every time I walked into my room, I just felt like a sigh of relief, not seeing a bunch of shit 
shit around all the time, it made my mind so much more clear than it usually is when I walk into my room. So organizing my room and keeping this organized the entire week is something I'm probably not gonna do just for this week. I'm gonna do this forever for sure out of all the things that I said I wanna do. This is the one thing that is absolutely gonna stick. Welcome to the end of day two, and this day went quite different. Definitely, definitely not as structured and not as good. And I wanna talk about a few things that I've discovered. So today brought a lot of unexpected things. I actually got my new laptop in the mail. I wasn't expecting to get it today. And I spent like a couple hours today setting it up. So that really knocked me off of my time block. I was sticking pretty well to the time block up until the point where I got the laptop and then things started to go wrong with me setting it up and I got frustrated and I didn't really stick to or even have the whole time block for today really set up well. I'm very determined to stick to this one tomorrow. I got the whole day planned out and I'm giving myself a little bit of time to relax tomorrow night, which I definitely could have used last night. So if all goes well, this is going to be a really productive good day and I have more stuff to do tomorrow than I did today and it's more urgent which is good. So it seemed like the time block was making a difference from yesterday's productivity but as we saw or as I told you guys today I really don't know yet but we'll see. That's it for day two. Not a, not a great day of productivity. As I continued on through the last few days I was still having no problem getting work done. I was using my finishers journal, writing some extra to do's on my whiteboard, but the one thing that I just couldn't keep up with was the time blocks. So I'm in the middle of uh, doing this whole I try to be organized for week thing where I'm time blocking out like my whole schedule. It's all set up the day before. Do you guys think you could ever follow a rigid schedule for the whole day? Absolutely for one day, I could not. Maybe do it, but for not a whole week. so much that I would stop. Dude, I'm I'm late to the grocery store. There's no way that I would <laughs> And my problem is it's like today where we have to go get shit. like that was unexpected and wasn't on my time block like unexpected things always happen that I have to do that I don't schedule it's a problem at least for people like me probably most people <laughs> that's what I think probably most people too All right, it's officially the night of the last day of this challenge, and uh, I'm just gonna be completely honest with you guys. For the past two days, I have not used time blocks. I've kind of forgotten, but also because I haven't wanted to use them, and I've had so many unpredictable things come up, and it's just like, whatever, but a lot of that is probably due to a lack of discipline. I know I'm just making excuses, but I do still wanna say I completed this challenge. So what did I learn from this challenge and what are the pros and cons to living a lifestyle like this? So the first thing that I really liked was the sense of urgency that time blocks and scheduling put into my day. I would actually get a notification on both my laptop and my phone when I had to do the next thing that was required on my schedule. And that was really nice because sometimes I just forget where the time goes. So that kept me on track. And I actually felt like because of that, I got more work done in less time throughout the day. I didn't have any time for procrastination. With time blocking and writing in a really structured journal, it also gave me a lot more mental clarity. I didn't have to constantly think about the next thing that I had to do throughout the day. It was already all planned for me the day before in my schedule, which I also really enjoyed because a lot of the times, not only do I forget, but I also just think about, okay, what's the next thing that I should be doing? When if I just had a set schedule for the day, I don't have to think about that at all and it kind of just made the day go by smoother and also writing in my finishers journal was just really satisfying checking off the boxes that are in that journal made it feel even better to complete my goals but of course there are some cons that are going to take place due to this rigid and structured lifestyle and that is the fact that you just don't have time for unexpected stuff a lot of stuff came up during these days and I'm like oh shit, I have to go off of my time block that I have and I didn't want to go back into my computer to change it so I found that it was like almost impossible for me to stay on track with these time blocks if something sudden came up or something I remembered I had to do so I had less flexibility and when life would hit me with those unexpected ways and throw me off I would actually feel worse about not getting the work done that I had planned than if I were to just not time block at all and not have a set schedule so I wanted to show you this to show you 
you that there is no one set lifestyle that will apply to everybody's life to make them successful. You don't have to pick up every habit of the biggest CEOs and entrepreneurs to become successful in whatever you're trying to do. Not all these things were optimal for me, although most of them really were. Organizing my room, journaling, and having tasks to do throughout the day helped me complete my goals, but that might not be the best option for you. So don't worry if you're not doing the same habits and have the exact same lifestyle as the biggest entrepreneurs because you don't need that. And overall, I'm really happy with the experience of all this and I learned a lot and I'm definitely gonna be using a lot of the stuff that I picked up for this challenge. This video is sponsored by the Finisher's Journal that I was using. If you guys have been on the channel for a while, you know how much I think that journaling is super important to writing down goals and tasks and also just getting your thoughts out on paper and the finishers journal set up everything so nicely for me with a regular journal you do get a lot of freedom you can write down whatever you want but actually having that sort of structure that has things for setting new habits writing down your most important and secondary goals throughout the day and even a place for notes and ideas was amazing. This journal, apart from my regular journal that I usually journal in, allowed me to review my progress throughout weeks and reflect on what I've learned so much better. You know, in the evening, it has that evening one-liner, what you learned throughout this day. And it made me feel good to reflect on the things that I've learned in an easier manner. And I didn't even fully utilize what this journal can actually offer you. What it's really for is a complete 90 day transformation of yourself. You start by writing down your 90 day goal and your secondary goal, the key motivations and the rewards when you achieve these goals, as well as the three habits you wanna build in the next 90 days. It's divided into weekly plans. It's got a nice motivational quote at the start of each week, which I really enjoyed. And it's a goals tracker, it's a habit tracker. You can take notes in it like I said and I could have even time blocked my day in here because that's provided in every day too. It's without a doubt the best journal that I've used in terms of reaching your goals of beating procrastination and being a high performer and getting more work done and that's why I chose to be sponsored by Finisher's Journal so please go check it out if you don't have a journal like this already. The link is going to be in my description it's an affiliate link and go purchase it you're definitely not gonna regret it because it helped me so much during this challenge and I know that it's gonna help you even more because like I said, I didn't even use everything that you can do with this journal. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was entertaining, educational, and you learned something and I am gonna head out. I appreciate all of you. I love you guys and that is it. I'm happy I did this and I'm gonna continue some of this stuff. So have a good rest of your day.